blood is a fluid connective tissue it connects different parts of the body and it also transports various substances to the different parts of the body that is the reason patients who have had a throat surgery or other surgeries and cannot consume food through mouth are directly fed through channels made on the hand through which food like saline which is made up of glucose and ions are directly injected into the blood and blood being a fluid medium transports the food to all parts of the body red blood cells in the blood transports oxygen so what transports the food molecules and the protective substances in the body well blood can be separated into two parts the yellow fluid known as the plasma and the formed elements which contains majorly red blood cells and hence it is dark red in appearance now look at the plasma it is not transparent because it has many dissolved molecules in it and so the transparency is lost and it becomes translucent now just like there are ships and boats for transportation on the waterways there are many proteins in the plasma that helps in the transportation of nutrients such as iron so the different functions of plasma is that it gives the fluid nature of the blood it transports nutrients like iron and it also contains proteins for clotting like prothrombin and fibrinogen and proteins for protection like antibodies this is a map of venice it is a city where waterways form connecting links between two places in the city now notice this is the primary waterway but many narrow waterways originate from the primary water body and also terminates into the primary water body now how does water flow into the narrow waterways well this is because of the current and pressure generated in the main water body so similarly in our body the heart pumps the blood and this causes a blood pressure on the vessels carrying the blood see when the heart pumps the blood there is blood pressure on the vessels due to the blood pressure on capillary walls blood molecules along with plasma come into the tissue space this plasma forms tissue fluid which also contains blood molecules such as proteins and carbohydrates so plasma along with food and proteins come into the tissue space and forms tissue fluid now tell me something can huge ships like this enter into the narrow waterways no so if a person's home is somewhere over here then he'll have to take a small boat and then reach his home over here a ship cannot enter into these narrow waterways similarly small molecules like these but not big molecules or big cells like the red blood cells can flow through 
these narrower vessels which are the lymph vessels so plasma that oozes out into the tissue space forms the tissue fluid and the tissue fluid contains many food molecules and many proteins tissue fluid then enters into these narrow vessels which is known as the lymph vessels let us see now these narrow lymph vessels originate and terminate in the main blood vessels now see what is happening because of high pressure plasma oozes out of the capillaries into the tissue space and then enters into these narrow lymph vessels and then lymph carries these molecules to the different parts of the body and finally terminates in the blood vessels so the functions of the lymph is to carry food and waste products and it also transports white blood cells for protection now how do they transport white blood cells because white blood cells are also bigger cells well this is because white blood cells have a special feature of changing their shape they are very flexible and can easily squeeze in through the narrow lymph vessels and so can be transported to those portions of the body where blood vessels do not reach so the heart pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation the lung sends back oxygenated blood to the heart the heart now pumps this oxygenated blood to the body tissues via the arteries now because of the high pressure in the arteries the fluid part of the blood known as the plasma oozes out of the capillaries into the tissue space forming the tissue fluid now the tissue fluid contains many food molecules and protein molecules which then enters into the lymph vessels the lymph vessels then transport these molecules to all the body tissues via lymphatic vessels and then again the body tissues send back deoxygenated blood to the heart so this is the entire circulation the body circulation consists of the circulation via the heart and also the circulation via the lymphatic vessel so this is the lymphatic circulation and this is the circulation via the heart and together they form the body's circulation